Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to my favorite time of every year ever. Ever. It's Vintage Cube, guys. I know we were talking about having Mike be put down, but it was a joke. Don't do it. Hey, buddy, listen. I might do it. This pack is something. We got Avenger of Zendikar, Mind Slaver, Time Spiral, and Tendrils. <laughs> you can't see the pack? Oh, that's weird. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, wow. I've made a terrible mistake. Maybe. Hold on, let's find out. Oh boy, this is rough. Okay. <sighs> this is awkward. Alright, well I'm just going to take a bite. Oh god, I'm so sorry guys. Okay, I guess that's what I have to do now. I hope this stays. I hope I, I think I have to do this for like every match. All right, so OBS had an update, and now you can capture window. I mean, you can always capture window, but they updated the capture window feature. So I tried to capture the window of Magic Online, which worked, but the different there's different Magic Online windows. Every win every thing in Magic Online opens in a different window. So it's like, yeah. So, let me see if game capture works. I don't think it does. It has never worked for Magic Online. Uh, no, it still does not work. Okay. Thank you. I mean, we're just going to take sneak attack here. Rogue Optic, thank you so much for the resub. Dev, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate you. Yeah. So, unfortunately... Oh, man. Thank you. Oh my god, Katie, my love. Thank you so much for your beautiful resub, you wonderful, wonderful woman. I love you. We got a channel here and a library of Alexandria. And I definitely think it's one of these two. I think it's channel because it works good with sneak attack in the sense that like you want to be able to uh, pick up all the Eldrazi's for both of these guys. So if I take off of this... MTGO does not show up, right? Okay, hold on. Match title. Otherwise, find window of same type. Well, that doesn't work, so I'm going to delete it. See, I want to be able to switch between windows, and it's not letting me do that. So it's like I'm stuck with this one window. I guess we'll just take Tireless Tracker here. And Breath Shieldbreaker is actually pretty good too, but I think Tireless Tracker is just a better card. Alright, so match title. Otherwise, find window of same type. Let's see if that works. Nope, I can still click on this and it does not do it. Yeah, see, like I actually have to. What if I unclick client area? Nope, that doesn't do it either. Yeah, you have to literally select the... That's that's something. That's unfortunate. Uh, Finale's not bad with channel. It takes four green, but that's still, still fine. Hopefully you guys are okay with... Oh, Draga Tree Speaker. Hmm. I mean, probably better than Acidic Slime. Ideally, we'll find some um, 
I like Dragon Lord Tarka with sneak attack. Ideally, we'll find some some number of Eldrazi at some point, but not today. I don't hate Mind Slaver with with Channel. Uh, Pope Gross is fine. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Heard you Utah people had a good earthquake. Dude, it was f it was surprisingly frightening. My bed started shaking and I was like, God, someone's really stomping around up there. And then I was like, my bed is shaking. That's not a normal response. Why would my bed shake? And then I was like, I sent a message to our group chat for the house. And I was like, hey, is someone stomping around up there? Because the whole roof just shook. And they were like, no, nah, dude, we felt it too. My bed was shaking too. It was pretty wild. Oh, Wall of Roots is a last pick? Oh, that's nice. Get this Bayou out of here. Shieldbreaker's main deckable. Um no 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 no. I, I don't like Sundering Titan that much. This is my this is my this is my truth. I don't love it. I don't want more of it. I don't, I just, it's pretty good, but like, there's definitely situations in the cube where they can kill it, and uh, you just, you, you get knocked out. I like Birds of Paradise, though. I haven't been in a good earthquake since moving back from, oh, jeez. God, it's always with, God, if Kurt can find a way to sneak Japan into a conversation, he'll do it. He'll do it. Eh, Lotus Cobra's actually fine. Questing Beast is also good. Right, like, once you start playing, like, Bayous and stuff, like, once you start playing good duels, like, the Sundering Titan just gets worse. I agree with that. That being said, I would love to find some big fat boys. Damn, boy! He thick! Boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! Ba -ba! Uh, Tribe Builder, Warm Power Stone, or Sword of Body and Mind? I kind of just like sword here. Like, I think sword is, I I mean, like I've been over this before with you guys, but swords I seem seem like I think swords are stronger than a lot of people give them credit for. Like you could just win against certain certain matchups that you otherwise wouldn't, and also uh, they make your small little dirtles like Lotus Cobra or Embrace Shieldbreaker much much better. So. Uh... I mean, it's just, it's like, I kind of like Ren and Six here. Like, even if it just pings off some guys, but like, I think it's better than, oh, Grim Monolith. That is, oh, Natural Order? For sure, we're taking Natural Order over Grim Monolith here. Body and Mind is very not doo doo. As, uh, out of, of all the, of all the, uh, of all the swords in the cube, it is the lowest, it has the lowest, one of the lowest doo doo quotients. This deck's really coming together. Considering I had no idea what we were doing. I got a banana up here too. Oh, we got a Blightsteel and a Kozilek in the same pack? Oh, dang. Kozilek's probably better. Like, if you block this guy once and you get nine infect, like, it doesn't do anything. But, like, Annihilator 4 is still relevant. I think Kozilek is just better here. Plus, it's cheaper if we ever just actually cast it. Yeah, that was a good... That was a nice nice little pickup. That was a nice little pickup. I got a banana here. Do you guys want to watch me eat a banana? Is that a weird thing to say? I don't know how to open this. Everyone says to open it from the butt. I always open it from the top. 
I'm not a... Oh, wow, Sundering Titan. You know what? I don't like Sundering Titan, but I think it's playable. Like, some cards I know are just me. Like, I, it's a preference I have. I don't love Sundering Titan, but I know it's a decent card. Warm Power Stone came back? I'm surprised the Grim Monolith didn't come back. Like, I open them from here, the tippity top, right? But people are like, no, you're supposed to open it from the bottom. You pierce the bottom, and then you could just pull it down. And I'm like, I don't know, man. But see, then you get situations like this where it's like, it won't snap. There's no clean snap, and it's just wobbling all over the place. And you're just like, well, all right, I guess I'll try the bottom. And I don't question nature. Me neither. But then I get this gross blackness on the bottom, and I'm just like, oh. Yeah, black bit. No one likes that on the bottom of the banana. Gross. You guys. Thank you. Oh man, this banana looks pretty rough, unfortunately. It's got some rough it's got some rough life here. Got some some side brown. You ever had the bananas with the side brown? I'm gonna take this manamorphose. Who was that? Acer, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Do you just eat the brown stuff? Do you not care about that stuff? Like, it's got a little bit of brownness there. You see it? Do I just eat it or do I take it off? Sometimes I'll bite it Thank off you. and I'll put it aside. And I'll be like, that's not for me. Josh T, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. We really appreciate you, my dude. I like a stomping ground. Course of Portal is nice, but we already have Karn, which is kind of like a Course of Portal. Get out of here. I think stomping ground is probably better. Yeah, I like Stomping Ground. Ooh. Nope, don't care about those. Walking Ballista. Ancient. Oh, Rock or Fellows. Never mind. That was. Banana Morphos. That's pretty good. Did anyone answer? No one answered my question. Do I just eat the blackness or do I just. Do I bite it off and put it aside? It's, it's for Fellows for sure. Taiga. Eat it? Like, I'm not asking. I don't want to be challenged here. I don't want to be like, but I bet you won't. I just want to know what the correct protocol is for bananas. What's the banana protocol? For what do you guys do personally? Do you rip it off? Do you, do you like try to eat around it? Most of the nutrients are found in the peel. Well, that may be the case, sir, but I am not going to eat the peel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The infinite Jiro. Now we got two of the good boys. I eat it. It's the sweetest part. Is that true? Terastodon's interesting. Let me shrink this down a little bit. Boop. Wishboard or Terrastodon? Hmm. I also just like Huntmaster for those mid-range good times. I think it's actually Wishboard. I think we want some good guys. Oh, Eureka. Yo, Eureka's Cat. Remember, you remember guys, the Eureka's Castle theme song that we sing whenever we get Eureka? You guys know. Okay. Eureka's Castle. Man, bananas are wild, dude. This is in nature. You just find these things in nature. What crazy world we live in. That's wild. Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Rat Train? <laughs> <laughs> it still cracks me up every time, man. Stone Cold Serpent's pretty decent. Uh, we don't sing that. You do. That's fair. That's fair. Gamma said, what up, my dude? Hmm. Hmm. 
It might just be Avison's Pilgrim. Home. My goodness. I'm taking Leshenorn. I'm going to deny someone. Uh, I'll play Arbor Elf over Avacyn's Pilgrim for sure. Nature's Claim is nice for the Bortles. Oh, the Huntmaster came back? Now we got some cuts to make, my dudes. It is cuts day, my dudes. I don't like Renin 6 here. Metamorphose does nothing. And we can probably play 16 lands. Let us go all over its Rafelos and 3 1 drops. We got four fat boys that are go to sneak attack. Oh, Eureka? Actually. Titan is medium to bad? Man. Hazaret plus LED. That is actually a combo. I will discard my hand. Attack with Hazaret. Yeah, I like this. This is a configuration, my dudes. And we only have one, two, three, four red cards. I think six red and twelve green is probably fine. <sighs> so they do make this guy bad. Also, Lotus Cobra and Birds can make red. Oh, wow. He was real aggressive. Eureka's Castle. Is Natural Order that good here? I mean, you can get a Dragon Lord of Tarka. Or a Whisperwood. I mean, it still seems fine, even if you get something like uh, Polygranos or Biogenicus. Like, if you're trading, like, one of these guys for, like, a big creature. Whisperwood, Biogenicus, yeah, I mean, it seems fine. Oh, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to give it a little a little shot. I might want to cut one red, though. I do want multiple red for sneak attack, though. Bananas are going away. I think that's when I'll be checking out. When, when are, where are bananas going away? I want to be honest, man. I don't even know the process for domesticating a fruit. That's wild. I don't think Eureka is a trap. I think show and tell is a trap. But I think if you build your deck correctly, you can actually come out way ahead with Eureka. Uh, the reason show and tell is a trap is because you put one big answer and or one one big threat, and they put one big answer into play. Uh, many of which in the cube can steal your threat. And then you, you're you down because you, you wasted your show and tell. But Eureka is different because you can put multiple planeswalkers and creatures into play. Usually what your deck is built to to do, to have. Um, Michael B's castle. Uh, the cat's name, I call him Lil Man. Thank you. There's gonna be a channel. You ready? 
Kadeen, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Michael B's cat. Yeah, you got a castle. Everybody knows that. King in the castle. King in the castle. Come on, give me something to play. Give me something good to eat. Dude, uh -huh. Lotus Cobra, play a land. I call him Little Man. I kind of just want to block here. No, five mana next turn is real good. Hmm. They've missed two land drops. That's pretty good. Good for us. We're doing it. Hmm. All right. Oh. Well. Well, butter my biscuits. Fight Club memes in 2020? My god, man. Why wouldn't it be Robert Pawson? Like a paw. Because he's a cat. Seems better. So we could channel and, like, channel for nine... Like three from here and then four, actually seven. So we go to nine. It seems not great. Are you going to daze us? No? Okay. Oh, you're going to be, you're going to be Sundering Titan? Hey, all of Roots. Fascinating. Oh, look at that chicken. Doo-da. Doo-da. Hey, take a look at that chicken man on the doo-da day. That's a chicken man. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, so we're virtually at 10 here because of because of Phoenix. And we could definitely kill three of their lands. The problem is, we'd go channel, we'd have one, two, three. We'd have to pay five, so we'd go to five. It's pretty rough. Two lands, huh? Okay. Well, probably just going to whisper wood. And we made an Arby's Elf. Yep, that's pretty good. Um, This chicken is coming at my face. Do they exile a Kozlek? That's wild, man. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my god, Kitty Cat's playing with this thing.
One, two, three, four, five, six. The problem is we have no way to get rid of the Phoenix. But I don't think we want either of the cards, so we're just going to reveal two more lands. Seems good. <laughs> Seems good. Two, three, four. So we pay three, we go to five. We get to go three, four, five. Egg comes back. I think we just kill this. Well, they get they get an egg back, so they could actually just block, and then that doesn't do what you want it to do. And if they want Chandra to live, they could just block with the egg. I'd I'd rather actually. Uh, I mean, they can't block anyway because Zergo doesn't let them block, so it doesn't really do anything. So killing this doesn't do anything. I mean, I'd rather go two here, three here, attack for one, attack for four, and then have two blockers. Because this just comes back anyway, so there's no point. Like, it's absolutely useless. Oh my god, dude. He won't be going. He's being so loud, dude. I mean, I guess we're just hoping they can't kill us, but like... We could also just go to four and we can play wall of roots as well and we're definitely channeling here right Play land. One, two, three, four, and then we just pay three. Yeah, it feels better. Because <laughs> chickens just gonna. Oh, wow. Little man. Meow, meow. Oh, little man. Thank you so much for the donation, buddy. I feel like you're just running around here like a madman, but that's all right, I guess. can't live without you I will block okay I mean if we didn't block they kill us so you know Oh, interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Finale for five. Hmm. Is that any good? It does get a hunt map. I guess a Pelucranos for four. You can't shoot. Hmm. Uh, we... Is this one or less? Hunter as Dogson? Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's his name. Oh, a Kozilek and a Mountain. I bet they give us Mountain. Okay.
All right, let's see what happens here. Yeah, and also if we went to four. If we went to four there, they could have just killed us with char. So it's it's a good thing we did go to five. Uh, I kind of like Huntmaster here just to go to seven. We were in Mike's room when the kibbles began to take hold. <laughs> Solid. Um, Huntmaster gains us two, puts us to seven. The chicken's going to hit us for five. Uh, alternatively, we take Bird of Paradise and just hope we have a block, which means they'd have to have a block and a way to... They have to kill the they have to kill the bird. I think I just want the bird. It's unexciting, but that's life. There's nothing in the graveyard they can hit other than uh, Ancestral. Oh, I guess they get swords and they get to kill this guy. I guess we gain a life from that. Alright. Well, we don't have to draw that, I guess. Chicken, come back! Yeah, so we go to two. Like, they have to have another burn spell, which is possible if they are playing three colors, so who knows. This is Rat Train Country. <laughs> if you didn't block with a Tarka, you could have hit him for eight at negative three life. That's actually... It's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ancestral. Aggressive. Very aggressive. Maybe they target us? They didn't. Six cards in hand. My dudes. Oh, let's get our block on. Man, this Karn is at uh, a lot of... He's, he's very loyal. Let's put it that way. Tithe Taker. Sure. And Adonto Vanguard. You got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Um, well, still not dead to the chicken. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I mean, next time we can grab Kozilek and play it. I think we just alpha here again. Like, and we're, we can put up to four creature, five creatures on the board. So I'm not super concerned with, with that. Oh no, they block and we die. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that makes me sad. That's what we're concerned about. We just gave them the win. Not the win per se, but... Ugh. Is there anything we can do about that? Nothing with what we have now. So I guess we'll just reveal two. And two more lands. Alright. Let's go to the next game. Yep, we gave them the extra point. That was... Not ideal. Um... Hmm. Firebolt actually seems pretty good here. Shieldbreaker seems less good. Flame Tongue seems good. Eh, natural order, I don't think we care about. Sure. 
sure. Uh, primal Command does if you're able to kill it and then also cast the Primal Command. I mean, you can just shuffle their graveyard back in, right? Like, it's not... But it's not, like, super effective based on the fact that, like... Land? Worn Power Stone. I like it. The deck is weird because they have a bunch of, like... Small one-drops, but, like, they also don't have a bunch. Bomat Courier. Zergo. Oh, wow. Huntmaster seems real good here. We got one, two, three, four, five. We have six mana. Yeah, we're just playing Huntmaster. And next turn we can cast 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, cast the Tarka and just wipe their whole board. Yeah, it seems good. this guy there we go no get up there do what you gotta do I assume they'll have swords here. Okay. Yeah, they definitely have sneak attack if they if we've seen Emrakul and Kozilek in their deck, so. That seems like a fairly no like Ren and Six actually doesn't seem terrible with all their one power creatures. We've seen Abbot of Carol Keep, Bomat Courier, and uh the chicken. Can I ask you to say something to cheer me and my fiance up because we had to cancel almost all of our wedding plans for tomorrow? Expect for ac except for the actual getting married. MTG Pyro, dude, I'm so, so sorry. Actually, Katie was going to visit me on Friday and uh, spend the weekend here. And she had to cancel that as well. So I definitely know um, how that feels to have plans with loved ones canceled. So I'm super sorry, dude. Obviously, a wedding is significantly larger than just a weekend visit. But uh, that sucks, dude. I'm so sorry. And um, on the bright side, you guys are together and you're both healthy. And uh, you still get to get married. And <coughs> I'm sure when all this dies down, you guys can get together with all your friends and family and uh, celebrate properly, hopefully. So, Also, congrats, guys. Congrats. Hmm, Got to cut one thing. I'm going to cut the sword. I don't think it's great here. Plus, they have double Eldrazi, so dies down. Poor choice of words. You got her to spot. That's awesome, dude. I'm so glad to hear it. I'm so glad to hear it. You guys are awesome. I'll keep this hand. Thank you guys for the support. You guys are wonderful. Hmm. I think we're just going with land here. This is good with channel. Both are good with sneak attack, so. 
spend the winning money on one of those Oscar Mayer hot dog cars. Solid strategy, actually. Solid strategy. I think if you don't spend the money on a hot dog car, the coronavirus is truly won. Is this a post-combat chain lightning? That's wild, dude. I'm okay with it. Channel. One time. Do it for the people. We didn't do it for the people. You're a post-combat chain lightning? Can someone ban Smokey Loki? I can't. I can't deal with this anymore. It's too much. <laughs> don't, don't time him out! Untime him out! Smoky Loki is wonderful. Dang it, Kerwit. I was, I was totally kidding. Smoky Loki, you're awesome, dude. How do you untime out somebody? I don't even know. What just happened? Oh, they pumped this dude up. This is rough. In, after I declare attackers, I'll cast Ancestral Recall. Alright, that's a weird time to do it, but... Smokey Loki, welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. <laughs> You've done it now. <laughs> okay, time in. Time in, guys. Time in. We have a good time. We have a good time in. We have a good time in. What is this? Exportable cube. Is this what's in the cube right now? Okay, that was rude. Now you're just being rude. Thank you. Firebolting my face. I guess I'll chump blockerino. Because I have to. Thank you. Oh, wow. So... <laughs> Smokey Loki's gonna punish me by gifting 10 subs. Totally reasonable. Totally reasonable thing to do. Thank you. Which I appreciate immensely and I think is awesome. Smokey Loki, you are a wonderful human being and uh, I appreciate Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you so much. I apologize that Carwit timed you out. I would have never allowed it to happen Thank if I was in control of my own stream. All right, let's see if we're dead. We're at three. They're just gonna untap and char us. Thank you. I bet they are. Dude, Smokey Loki, you're awesome. Nope, I don't have Vanguard. That is not a char. Eh, that's not a char Thank either. You. They have one card? Okay, well, ch channel is not good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we can make a blocker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you. Okay. Um... What? Thank you. Why did they tap a red? Okay, that was weird. Thank Not attacking. You. Um. Yeah, create a one one, I guess. Oh, they firebolted and we die again anyway. So, God, man, this is this is so close every time. Someone time that man and guy. We get the hyper rank gold today. Yeah. Maybe. Oh wait, what? They didn't. They didn't firebolt. Oh, I guess they can firebolt my face. 
sure. I mean, maybe they forget. I don't know. They probably didn't forget, right? That'd be that'd be great if they forgot. They didn't forget. Still don't know why you don't do it first. Take out my blocker. Get another point of damage, but sometimes you can't play well for your opponent, guys. You just have to let them crush you terribly. They don't ever forget. Sometimes they forget. Except for when they never do. Kerwood is just a fake account I use. I'm just like, hey, hey this hand is bonkers. Buzonkers, my dude. Buzonkers, my dudes. That's from, uh, you ever seen that show, The Big Bang Theory? That's from that show. Hmm. Do I even pump this? Probably, right? Sure, why not? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gonna draw four cards and guns let go. Yeah, it's your turn. Oh, we won. <laughs> we won the game. Vintage cube, ladies and gentlemen. Always a, always a good time. Good times had by all. Except for the people who don't have good times. I'm going to mulligan this hand because it had one land. I'm going to keep this hand because we got tree speaker. Uh, and if we never hit another land, you know what? I'll take the, I'll take that. They do have blue, so that's okay. I'll put whisper wood under. We got two, two shots to hit a land and I believe in ourselves. Okay. We need one less shot now. That's good. That was a good. Thank you. Bobby biscuits. Oh man. Bobby biscuits with a gifted sub. That's totally on brand. Bobby Biscuits, you are the biscuity hero we need. Uh, so one, untap. Two, Wally. Out of counter. Tree Speaky. All right, now we got some mana gone. Look at us, look at our mana gone. <clears throat> Is there a way to get this clip? Is, do we have any audio experts? Is there a way to get this clip and take the music out of the background? Because that's really all I want. Cool. Toxic Deluge. That's super cool. I'm going to just keep it up. We got some time. Lost my job the other day. Vegas Casino the other drafting and watching you guys draft. I'll keep... What is it? Is it Guy Vag? Jivag? Um, I heard they closed Vegas. Like, the whole strip was closed. Um, did they just fire you guys? Laid you? Did they just lay you guys off? Or, like, you guys don't have... What are they going to do when they reopen? I fell into a burning ring of deluge. Uh -huh. MGM laid off everyone at their properties? What a bunch of fucking scumbags, dude. Temporary layoffs? <sighs> Jesus Christ. That's... That's trash. Technically, if you found the original music, you could you could match it to the same levels, then invert the waveform and lay it out. Yeah, that seems like a lot more than I'm willing to do. I wasn't sure if there's an easy program to. We got two weeks full of pay, including tips and healthcare until June third. That's I 
Everything is terrible. I appreciate it, buddy. I live in SLC. Just wondering how you are holding. I'm holding up all right. I had a cold on Monday. And I had to keep reassuring everyone it was not the coronavirus. It was just a regular cold. My coughs were moist. They were moist coughs. My, my throat was not dry. And uh, I had a runny nose, which is not a symptom. And, uh, you know. <clears throat> yeah, so you can tell it's all. Blah, blah, blah. But, um. Yeah. This guy's getting countered. Of course it is. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, that seems good. I'm just going to concede because now nah, you're just. Hey, what are you saying? <clears throat> yep. All right. Oh, uh, the earthquake did not get me too bad. I woke up and I was like, or I wasn't, I was just laying in bed reading comics. And I was like, what's that shaking? Is Mike walking around upstairs? And I was like, dude, whatever you guys are doing upstairs shook the whole house. Like I felt like my roof was going to cave in. And, um, like, uh, my bed shook, like my bed shook back and forth. And I was like, what the hell, dude? <clears throat> um, yeah. And so Jake messaged you back and he was like, yeah, dude, we felt it too. My bed shook too. And it was actually an earthquake. I mean, nature's claim seems fine, but. It's weird we don't have anything that deals with that naturally. <sighs> <clears throat> Let's take Sundering Titan out. I just don't, I don't like it. Um, yeah, I'll keep this in. Where was an earthquake? In Utah. We had an earthquake last night. So Mike wasn't on a nug rampage. It was a softer shake, like an earthquake. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. I was in my office in downtown Salt Lake when the second one hit. I didn't know there was a second one. I just felt the one. Oh yeah, this is this is good. Oh, one, two, three. Oh yeah. We're living the dream right now. Oh, yeah. Mill it up. Mind twist, too, huh? Seems good. And Mana Vault. Ooh, you got some, you got some spicy gems. What if you filled one of those t-shirt cannons with nugs and blasted someone? Uh. Oh, look, it's Toxic Deluge for... Yeah, never don't have everything you need. Oh, boy. Cool. Having a good time, guys. Having a good time in this draft. First Vintage Cube draft. Doing fantastically. Creature? I mean, that's a creature. I'll kill it in response with my two black mana that's open. Oh, I made you sacrifice it. <laughs> so now you get to choose. Okay, why does every 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 opponent I play, 
that always has it. They always sound like a Yu-Gi-Oh villain. I don't know. It's just life, I guess. Say goodbye to Exodia. <clears throat> Shut up and take my money. Look at a hunt master. Nice mugger. Hey everybody, has anyone seen Najgulashi? <laughs> Are this inquisitioning to hit it? Yeah, I guess that's fine. Fascinating, but sure. See now I get to hold this and they don't even have the Inquisition. It's great. It's fantastic. My grandfather gave me those cards. Sure. You got it. Here we go. Something good. Sweet. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. One, two, three, four, five. We take five. We go down to eight. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> All right, one time. Dragon Lord Tarka. All right. I guess we got rewarded for holding up this taiga. Sure. I mean, this is frustrating because they can just play Liliana's Triumph from the graveyard. So, that's cool. <clears throat> and then we take six, so we go to two. Yeah, that's that's fun. I mean, maybe they'll misplay and get Toxic Deluge out. Oh, look, they did the exact thing we were said they were going to do. <sighs> yep. Going to two. Dragon. Dragon, dragon. Rock the dragon, dragon. Ballsy. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, let's try to one, two our first vintage cube. That's, uh, that's really what I'm trying to do. Imagine if you were a school teacher, you get one day of school with your fellow teachers and admins to plan the potential plan to teach your child electronically for the first year of future. Then add to the mix that your second job is working in a hospital that just got its first confirmation for a team to get called into work for three days in a row. No, don't like that. <clears throat> I think our turn three is going to be all right.
Okay. Fastbond's always a pretty big trap as well. Okay, so they played one extra land. That's weird. This is actually a pretty decent turn. I don't think they're going to be able to do anything against this because they're playing blue and green. <coughs> so we got one, two, three, four, five, six mana next turn. We could sort of body and mind this bird and get in there. Imagine not believing in green so much you had to play blue as well. I know, right? Get it together. You know they did. We talked about it in our chat, Carwit. <laughs> you know they had locusts. You don't got to be like, I think they had locusts. You know they did. Rob was like, how do you even count hundreds of billions? <laughs> Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How's the shadow consider sending a third meme tonight? It's harder for me to show them now because I can't just pull them up in front of the screen. You see where my mouse is? This is me actually pulling the, the image in front, but it's not going to show it because I'm now uh, window capturing instead of monitor capturing, if that makes sense. Um, one, two, so we need to play Sword of Blue and Green against this deck that is predominantly blue and green. Oh, God. It's not Cryptic Command. No, it's just old fashioned counter spell. Cool. One, two, three, four. I don't think finale for two is actually finale for two is pretty decent here. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I actually like finale for two here. It's your boy. I will daze this. Bedazels, my dudes. Uh, search library. Uh, Ruffalos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are one man away from Ulamogging. I don't think we have any responses here, so. Sneak attack. Still pretty good, right? Gonna cryptic. Gonna cryptic command. Put them on the top, 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 eddy top. I'll top and I'll tap them in response. Okay. Solid strategy. Now what? I'm sure you'll use one top, right? I think that's the first mana drain. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. 
actually don't know what's in this cube. I'll be honest with you. You got it. You got it, my dude. <coughs> Land. Seems good. I'm gonna hit this guy. I have a third counter spell. They do not have that. All right. Newest cards are... Uh, Oko was in here. Teferi was... No, those were all in here. Those were in here last time. The only changes would be from uh, Theros Beyond Death. Yep, now they're just going to steal it. Of course they are, because they never don't have that. Yep, and we just lost the game to our own Ulamog. Cool. And it's going to be another fucking land. Yep. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. They did absolutely nothing and get rewarded. Seems good. Sundering Titan still sucks. Um... Shieldbreaker has not been great, surprisingly. All right. Man, I felt good about that match, too. Or that game, rather. I don't know if I feel great about our deck, I guess. I don't know. Nope, don't want to do that. Let's do... Nope, there we go. We did it. And it was still asking us what mana to add. One two Lotus Cobra one two doesn't do anything. I think I'd rather just play Sword here. Because <clears throat> next time we just get to attack with this guy, and I don't know how many answers they're gonna have to a a sorted up Arbor Elf on turn two that are green or blue. Sure. If we can hit a land here, it'd be great. And it was great. And then we get him. What do we get here? We got to uh, harmonize a bunch of mana dorks, noble hierarch, finhorn elves, uh, which is why we brought in the Renin Six, Avenger of Zendikar, and Torrential Gear Hulk, and harmonize. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. Um. Fascinating. Okay. I could see Venser bouncing the sword and then blocking the Arbor Elf. <sighs> I guess I'm always I'm always right. <laughs> uh, kind of frustrating.
Yep. <coughs> I mean, lands would be great here. Instead, they play a primeval titan. Worm coil engine. Just fantastic. Yep, this game's pretty much over. So it looks like we went 0 3 with this piece of shit. And that's unfortunate, but uh, I can't say I'm terribly surprised. Um. Blue green sword against the blue green deck, and they managed to play two artifact creatures, and we managed to not draw a fourth land in twelve cards. But uh, you know, totally normal. Yep, just gonna concede here. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Slam those, slam the things, and uh, we'll see you next time for another vintage cube draft. Hopefully, it'll go better than this. Uh, this hunk of junk did. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.